started in the cockpit where you'll spend most of your time being a sports fisher boat. We've got a custom built rocket launcher here that's fitted into this base. You can also use this base for table um, if you want to uh, prepare anything on there. We've got uh, one bait tank and two fish tanks. We've got storage systems, we've got uh, deck showers. In here we've got a freezer, so this is where either the bait kept or the uh, caught fish. On the other side, a small fridge, so this is used for drinks. I'm sure you could put whatever you want in there. And here we've got the sink and we've got a chopping board, so if you're preparing your bait or preparing your fish, you can do it there. We've got a Raymarine hybrid touch axiom here, so we've got one here and then two inside. So if you're fishing and you want to look at the transducer fish finders, then that's why they put this one outside. A few other bits. So this one has the tuna tower. So this was uh, fitted uh, recently. So you can have a look at the fish. Um, much easier place to helm the boat from. Um, and you can look at the fish in the area uh, and see where you want to put your rods. So come on board, we'll have a look inside and we'll have a look at the helm and all the equipment in there. We're inside at the helm station here, so I'll show you a little bit of what's going on. As I mentioned outside, you've got the three Raymarine Axiom uh, 16 inches. Uh, I believe the one outside is just slightly smaller. You've also got the upgraded Fusion stereo system, so the speakers have been changed and also that system has been done as well. You've got anchor counter here, uh, new windlass that's been fitted. You've got another panda control here for the generator. So that was been recently fitted. Uh, there was a West Beak, I believe, in before that. So that's been changed. You've got the two Caterpillar uh, engine monitor systems. So you can see what's going on there, the pressures, the fuels. And then you've got wind speed uh, and indicator, direction indicator here with the auto helm. So the auto helm has a remote. So this is can be taken around. So if you're sitting in this seat, you can drive the boat just from the remote. They've also fitted this remote here, right on the seat. Uh, the reason being because there was a little bit of a, um, a reach to the chart plotter. So that can all be done there from the comfort of the seat. You don't have to reach forward every time. You can just do everything from here. And then you've got your standard steering wheel, your twin throttles here. Um, you've got wiper controls. Uh, everything that you need is here. If I spin you around, I can show you the L-shaped seating. So large seating for guests. And then you've got rod holders in the roof. Um, you've got another passenger seat here. And then I'll show you down here in this little cupboard. You've got your drawers for your fishing tackle. So you've got your lures, your teasers. Um, you'll know a lot more about it if you're into your fishing. And then most important, aircon unit there. So there's one there and then one that side. Show you down in the engine room on the way out, but in the meantime, we'll start down into the accommodation. Down the accommodation, we're here in the slew. So we've got another L-shaped settee there uh, with a fixed table. Underneath that, you've got the teak and holly flooring with the carpet protected over, over the top of that. This boat will sleep four to five people. You've got your double central berth there, and then here you've got your bunk beds. Um, this, so you have a large one underneath, and then the other one pulls out. So uh, if you're traveling and you want to sleep, uh, then that's a nice secure place. So you're not gonna roll out of bed. We've got the L-shaped galley this side. So I've got the sink here, two burner hob, microwave, and then you've got the fridge freezer drawers here. Lots of space um, and lots of cooking areas and surface area to cook there. Both sound systems in the roof. And if you have a look forward, we'll show you the main cabin. So this is a central island berth. You've got your reading lights behind. There's storage and drawers underneath. Hanging lockers on the left and the right. So a really nice space and a nice big cabin for a 40 foot boat. Spin you around, we'll show you the heads. So we've got the shower here. We've got the electric toilet and again, sink and storage. So there's everything you need in this boat. And every uh, you've got the kitchen, you've got your galley, and then you've got your sleeping accommodation. What we'll do now, we'll turn around, we'll show you the sea keepers that have just been recently fitted, uh, and we'll show you how they work. 
So a big feature of this boat is the two seat keepers that it's got on. So it's got two Model 3s, which we'll show you. But first, I'll show you the control panel. So you've got all your switches here from when you're switching over from the generator or when you're turning it to 12 volts on, you to 24 volts. And then you'll see here is the two screens for the sea keepers. So this is where you turn them on at the moment, they're off. So you turn them on about 20 minutes before you'd go out. Uh, that would warm them up. Um, and then you'd be able to use them. You can turn them on when you get outside, but it's nicer just to have them from the start. So if I open this hatch here, you'll be able to see the two sea keepers here. So one here, one here. If you don't know how they work, what they do is there's a, a weighted ball inside and that spins at thousands of RPM um, and then that centers the boat's gravity and makes the boat stop pitching, rolling. Um, so these are really nice to have. So if you're fishing uh, and you're at anchor, this will keep the boat as still as possible. So it's nice and comfortable for you or when you're underway. So if the boat is getting hit by waves, this will keep it as level as possible. Being on the bow here, we've got this electric Maxwell anchor. So we've got the buttons here, foot pedals, or as I showed you earlier, you can do it from the helm station. You've got these really nice thick rail handrails with uh, the mooring systems here. So you've got two cleats here, two there, two midships, and obviously a few at the aft as well. Huge sun pad. So you can see here the size of this. Lots of uh, areas to relax, to sunbathe. And then you've got your fender baskets here. What I'll do, I'll jump up and I'll show you the tuna tower as well. So here we are on the tuna tower. As you can see here, Got lots of height, really nice shade. So from up here, it's much easier to see the fish. That's why people use this. You've got your uh, rockets there, your launchers. You've got um, all your winches. So this is where the main fishing is done from. This side, you've got subwoofers. Here we have another helm station. So you've got your wheel, your throttles, um, your auto helm is up here, and then another Raymarine Axum Pro. So this is the nine inch, just smaller one but it still does all of the same that you have downstairs. Little things like drinks holders, you've got your searchlight just forward of me, and then your life raft. So not too much up here, just the big, big seat, and then another rocket launcher, a stainless steel fitted behind. So last thing, we'll go down to the engine room, I'll give you a quick tour, show you what's what, and another feature that this boat has. So this is the small engine access, for, so just for daily access, so you can look at your oils, you can check your temperatures, um, you can check the coolant, everything like that. So what I'll do, I'll grab you and I'll show you and give you a quick tour. So down here, you've got your Fisher Panda um, 12,000X compact there, which I talked about earlier. If I turn to my left, You've got the uh, Caterpillar here. So this is the uh, C12. So one this side, and then obviously this is exactly the same the other side. You've got your breakers here, and your battery switches. So the main battery switches are there. And then you've got battery charger this side. You've got the Caterpillar control center this side. And um, what else can I show you? And then you've got all your components here, so you can see the exhaust, you've got automatic fire extinguisher here, so if there's any problems down here, that would stop it. Down by my feet, you can see the transducer here, so this is deep sea, so this is an upgrade just for the fishing. So this is a big bonus um, if you want to go fishing and you're trying to see what's underneath you. As I said, one of the features here is that you can just about see it just in front of you here, this hydraulic leg. So when you have some major service or major engine work, you don't want to be going in and out this small hatch. So if you had the tuna tower off, then this whole uh, floor opens. So it gives you major access for major servicing and major engine work. So you don't need to squeeze down here. And then you can see the other side, the ram there. So that all lifts up 
Behind there you've got your air conditioning units and a few other bits as well. But that's all from down in the engine room. Come to the end of the tour. So we finished on this Cabo 40 Express with the tuna tower. So hopefully we've shown you everything uh, that you wanted to see and uh, a couple of features that make this boat so special.